Skin Cancer Awareness Month was originally started by the American Academy of Dermatology Association and seeks to bring attention to this pressing matter, especially during the hot month of May. According to the website of the American Academy of Dermatology, skin cancer is the second most common cancer in women ages 15 to 29. It also states that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. Tracy Travis, a patient at Bowling Green's Kentucky Skin Cancer Center, was treated for a skin condition known as basal cell carcinoma. Well, I had had these places on my skin that I kept ignoring for several years and then I, you know, decided, well, I better get them checked. So um, we did a biopsy and then we scheduled surgery because they did come back cancerous. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends steps such as seeking shade in strong sunny weather, wearing protective clothing such as hats, and making it a priority to apply sunscreen. Moe's surgeon at the Kentucky Skin Cancer Center, Robert Skaggs, emphasizes the importance of starting skin care at a young age. Everybody thinks that they're invincible when they're, when they're young, right? And we don't think anything will happen to us, but unfortunately that's, that's really not true. Um, the other thing is that we're all exposed to UV light or the sun from the time we're born till uh, whenever we go to the doctor's office. As a way to think of skin cancer prevention, Skaggs offers this advice to the younger population. The more UV exposure you have, the more sun exposure you have, the more wrinkly you will be when you're older. So that's something that's definitely uh, that weighs on people's minds, but also you get the added benefit that they are protecting themselves from future skin cancer.